first came to school, uh, it wasn't easy for me. You know, I had to, had to really work hard. I really had to push myself. When I wanted to play, I wasn't good enough at the time. So I had to get in the gym, had to work as twice as hard as my teammates. So when, so when my teammates was in the gym for two hours, I was in the gym for five hours. So when they would come to practice on time, I would, I would be there before practice for an hour, and I would stay late for an hour after practice. Because I had to work myself into a position where I could get on the floor. You know, so my first year, I really didn't play. I sat on the bench. You know, so it's just like you guys, sitting on the bench the whole season. You know, but even though I'm sitting on the bench, I'm still working hard each and every day. I'm getting better every day in the gym, um, but I'm still sitting on the bench because I, I believe in myself and told myself that as long as, I, as long as I'm doing the right thing, as long as I'm working hard, I know my time's gonna come, right? Uh, actually, one of my teammates got in trouble and I end up playing that game, you know? And I end up having a good game. Had about 12 points, and we won. And the key to that story is that if I wasn't working hard all those times that I was on the bench, when my time came, I wouldn't have been ready, right? So I played. I didn't play as much as I wanted to, but I got in from time to time and stuff like that. My sophomore year, I played a little bit more. Coach still didn't have faith in me. He still, he still doubted me a little bit. Cause sometimes I doubted myself. So I had to keep on working each and every day in the gym. You know, when guys go home in the summertime, I was in Syracuse getting better. You know, when guys were out getting in trouble, I was in the gym trying to put myself in a better position. Right. blessed with situations and we gotta take advantage of our opportunities. So in my mind, I'm saying, I'm gonna go to school, I'm gonna get my degree, and I'm gonna try my absolute best to be the best basketball player I can be, right? So by my junior year, I'm a starter. You know, the coach trusts me a little bit more. You know, and I, you know, I have a back injury. So I'm playing well back injury, and one of my teammates take my spot, right? So he's taking my spot. So now I got to work as twice as hard now, right? So I fight for my spot, I get it back, and I told myself nobody would ever take my spot again, right? So, and from that time, I push myself more and more and more because I know that my Right, so you guys might play on the team. You guys might be the best player on your team, but your spot can always be taken from you. There's, there's always somebody better than you. But all you can do is control what you control. And that's get in the game, work on your game, getting shots up. Just like uh, Coach Eric and I was telling you guys, you guys got to pay attention. So when we talk to you guys, and you guys are looking around, you guys are not getting what you came here for. You know, if you guys love the game, you gotta take it seriously. It has to be, for me, it was life. You know, basketball, it teaches you life. It teaches you to be, it teaches you to be on time. It teaches you discipline. It teaches you everything that you need to learn in your life. On in, on in, on by my senior year, I was one of the best players on my team. You know, but I wanted to be the best player in my conference. You know, you know, being the best player on my team, that wasn't good enough for me. I wanted to be the best player in the biggest conference. So I pushed myself to give myself a, a better chance to be the best basketball player possible. I graduated. 
I got, I got my grades and everything was going good, right? So by my senior year, I led my team in scoring. I led the Big East in scoring, right? So I was considered one of the best players in the Big East. But all that came from hard work, right? A lot of people think it's easy. It's not gonna be easy. Nothing in life is gonna be easy. Right? There's going to be peaks and valleys, things that you're going to have to go through. There are going to be people who are going to tell you that you're not good enough. There are going to be people that tell you that you're small, you're too small, you can't jump. But as long as you guys believe in yourself, you guys can do anything. Anything you guys want to do, y'all can do. But you guys got to put your mind to it. And at the end of the day, always try to do the right thing. That's the key. Life is about choices. If you make the right choice, just like Coach Everett said, he had to learn to make the right choices in life. Right? Because we all make mistakes. We all do things. We all say things that are not right. Right? So I'm going to leave you with try your best. Believe in yourself. Always make the right choices. There are going to be people who are going to do things around you that are going to have you say, come on, let's do this, or let's go to this place. And you got to think to yourself, is that the right thing to do? Are these the right people that I'm going to be with? Right? Is what they're doing good for me? Right? So, let me rewind. Sorry. Uh, so I end up